What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Now that we are finished with 2022, it's finally time to look back and see my total earnings for this past year from a reselling business. Now, since I did need time to go and crunch the numbers for this video purpose, uh, it's only going to be from January to November for 2022. I did leave out December just because not only were sales slow, but also I needed time to crunch all of these numbers, so I have done so. So let's get right into this. Now the first thing I want to mention before we start is I'm not doing this for bragging rights, look what I earned. I'm doing this to just show people that if somebody like me could do this, anybody can do this. You definitely can start a reselling business very easily, not with just the niche that I do, which is video games and comic books, but anything that interests you definitely can be turned into a reselling business as long as you do put in the effort and you learn from your mistakes and you just research everything that you can. And I do have other videos talking about how to start a reselling business and different things like that, but it definitely is doable for anybody that does want to put in the effort and make extra money on the side. So first, let's just go month by month on my monthly earnings. So for January 2022, we did have 1,444. February was 1,856. March was $1,345. May was kind of low. That was $357 for the entire month. Then we did have June 14, 11, which was pretty good. And then it went kind of a little low, but not staggering. Uh, that was 687 for July, 673 for August, and 698 for September. And then that was around the time that I did have my injury this past year, so sales did plummet for a little while. The next month was 396, and then November was my highest month for 2022, highest single month, because I did a huge sale for Black Friday. I did a whole bunch of marketing and stuff for Black Friday, early Black Friday sales and that, and it definitely did deliver. So for November, I earned $2,490 for the entire month. My highest single week was in February, and that was $1,200 for that week. It consisted of seven Pokemon Game Boy Advance games, which I did sell for $400, and then 15 Pokemon DS games, which I did sell for $800. Now, I had a lot of confusion back then of people asking me if those games were authentic. Yes, they were. It just I stumbled upon somebody that had a whole bunch of stuff and that were selling them very cheap, and luckily enough for me, I did get a great deal and was able to purchase all of them and then be able to flip them for that much money. So that was awesome that I was able to earn that much just off of that little. But Pokemon games are definitely something that's uh, worth keeping an eye out for. But remember, there's a lot of fakes out there. So if that's something that you're looking into is reselling video games, definitely research how to spot a fake out in the wild whenever you're looking for and grabbing these games. And it always is best to be cautious whenever you're dealing with somebody that has a ton of Pokemon games uh, for the Game Boy or DS. That usually means that chances are they are going to be fake, but luckily for me, all of these ones were authentic, so definitely learn how to spot a fake if you're going to be doing the same kind of stuff and try to resell the same kind of things. Uh, the highest single month was November. That's because, like I mentioned, my Black Friday deals, that was $2,490. Now, I didn't break down exactly everything I sold for that month because I did sell a lot, but basically that was five Nintendo 3DS bundles that I did get. Did sell them for really great. Three Game Boy Advance SPs. Typically, I sell them for anywhere from $125 to $150 each with the charger. We did also get uh, two Game Boy Advances. I did get a white one that I did sell and a gold one. The gold one was a rare one. It was the uh, New York Pokemon Center or something like that. So that one did sell for 175 The other one only sold for 100 So regular Game Boys usually sell for around 100 for the Game Boy Advances. And then I did liquidate a lot of comics as well. I did have a lot of great deals. So I started in 
the beginning of November with early Black Friday sales and I just had a ton of people messaging for stuff, some of my comics because I just wanted to clear out a lot of stuff because I already made a ton of profit off of it. I just wanted to clear out space. So I was doing a dollar a book sales. So if I had a lot of 50 comics, that was $50 and people were just eating all of that up. I also did mystery boxes to get rid of some of my other stuff that I couldn't really lock together. And I was doing 25 bucks for $25 and people were buying that up just to give for gifts for Christmas. So I had a lot of great sales sales there but for the whole month just because of the Black Friday sales and promoting stuff for Black Friday and my discounts that I gave it was $2,490 for that month. Now for the whole year the grand total of what I earned was $12,436 which is incredible that's definitely more than I thought I was going to earn for 2022. Now remember that not all of that is profits. That is all of the sales that I got for 2022, breaking down and just figuring out all of the uh, profit of what I spent on the items versus what I sold them for, especially when it comes to eBay because I have to consider the eBay fees and the shipping and everything like that. If it's local stuff or I'm selling on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace, if it does need to be shipped across Canada, I'm willing to do that if the buyer pays the full amount. So I did have to keep that in mind. So that's why for December, it took me a while to crunch all these numbers because I had to figure out what my profit was for this past year. So I did try my best, but the profit for 2022 was around six to seven thousand dollars. Whenever I considered what I sold different things for and everything, that to me was a an amazing year. Six to seven thousand dollars profits. It was a lot of work, but I'm also doing my regular job, and I also have my all my free time and everything. So to be able to do this basically on the side with minimal efforts and to get six to $7,000 extra that you did not have if I was not doing this was just an awesome feeling. So I do have big plans for 2023 whenever it comes to reselling. Now this past year, because of my injury, I was not able to walk, stand or drive for pretty much two months or a little bit longer. So I had to try to source inventory a different way. So what I did was change my settings on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace to be able to look all across Canada. And whenever I find deals, I was messaging the sellers to see if they were able to ship it to me. Now about 25% of the people said they don't want to ship because that is a hassle to them, which is understandable. Another 25% said they didn't want that. They wanted cash and to only meet locally, which again is understandable. So that only left me 50% of the people actually writing me back that were willing to ship the items out. Now, out of that 50%, only 25% were able to actually come to terms with the deal because some people wanted way too much for shipping, like $50 to ship across Canada for a 3DS is ridiculous when it should only cost 20 to maybe $25. So it was way too much money, which meant I wasn't able to make any profit. So I just turned down those deals. But out of the, all the 3DSs I did buy, that is how I sourced them. So even though 3DS typically, some of the basic ones were selling for 175, that's I sold them for, I was getting getting them with shipping around 100 to $120. So I did make some great profit off of those. And I did get some limited edition ones as well, which I still have to sell, but a lot of great items this past year. So again, I did not make this video for the purpose of doing bragging rights. I did this video to kind of educate people to make people aware that you can do the same thing I'm doing, not necessarily with just video games and consoles, but anything that you want to resell, you can start a reselling business and start doing it. If I can do it, you definitely can do it as well, even if you do have a full-time job. Because for myself, I do have a job that I work at, I only do this on the side, and I do have a lot of free time for my social life as well, and my running errands and everything else. So I do have a busy life, but it definitely can be done if you want to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm definitely looking forward to 2023. Peace.